When Howard Hughes died in April 1976, one of the most bizarre inheritance stories in U.S. history began. A number of obviously phony wills appeared in the weeks after Hughes' death, most of them delivered to the county clerk's office in Las Vegas, Nevada. None proved to be legitimate, but it took a lengthy probate process before one of them, known as the Mormon will, was rejected by a jury. In that document, Melvin Dumar, a gas station operator from Willard, Utah, was named as a beneficiary. Dumar told a story of picking up a bearded old man in the Nevada desert and loaning him a quarter. Dumar claimed the man told him he was Howard Hughes. Now, five years after his death, a court in Houston is preparing to determine the legal heirs of Howard Robart Hughes, Jr. An inventory filed with a court puts the value of the estate at $169 million, but that is believed to be far short of the true value. Hughes owned hotels and casinos in Nevada, in addition to the Hughes Helicopter Company and parcels of high-priced land. Nearly 500 persons have come forward to claim they are relatives of Howard Hughes and entitled to some of his estate. These files represent about one-fifth of the documents on file with the probate court in Houston. Judge Pat Gregory, who will preside over the trial beginning here today, estimates it will last four months. Tom Schell, ABC News, Houston, Texas.